chapter 11, the Iron Creed. Okay, let's see what this is all about. It's almost 10. Sayama's waiting for me at Ewout Bridge. Alright, so it's morning now. <laughs> let's start off with a fight. Hello. Boom. Hello. Sorry about your trash can. You give me a silver plate. Yeah, you are. I see some money we could pick up because we are so short on it. Because we have like 40 some million yen. Like, yeah, 46 million, 600,016. I think we're okay on money. Not entirely sure, but we might be. So. Hmm, never noticed that glass before. That's pretty. Alright, let's see what's gonna happen now. It's gonna be hard for me not to push. This is that that momentum building that we're getting that I'm gonna be like, story! Yeah, more story. It's gonna be so, hard to feel like there's a spot to stop. You know, and do extras. ええ。私が人言派の生き残りじゃないかと思って。どういうことだ。ママの言っていたことから推測して私の両親が<笑> お前What the? Was there an? Was it necessary to take his cigarette? Like, he can walk and smoke at the same time. It's, he's not that much of a klutz. Like, that's one of those little things where you're like, really, lady? Like, it's funny, I'm laughing, but at the same time, unnecessary. I mean, I get it, smoking bad for you, but he's been doing it for what? Like, how old is he? He's like 30 something. He's like, he's been doing it for 20 plus years. So, because God knows he probably started as a teenager. Uh, so you said, oh, find Murai somewhere called Kema. I need to hear what he has uh. to say. You sure about this, though? Eh. Don't worry about me. Whatever he can say, I can handle mm. it. But first, we'll need to hit the streets to see if we can even find the place. <sighs> but yeah, just unnecessary uh, cigarette violence. Not a smoker myself. Don't condone it. Don't like it. Tried it. Tried to be one. When I was stressed, I was like, I still every now and then I'm like, yeah, just people are like, oh, sorry, my smoke's getting your face. Just, I'm like, oh, it's all right. That's the only way I can get my nicotine these days. So just, you know. Mm. Do, I, do you know a place called Camp? Nope. Doesn't ring any bells. All right, what's the uh, what direction we're, we're going this way? Um, hello. I'm uh, really in a pickle now. Might as well just rope in the next guy who walks by. Whoa, hey, a guy walking by. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Are you busy at the moment, sir? You're like, yes, I am. I'd say that depends. Well, do you think voice acting for a video game might interest you? Nani. Oh lord. Voice acting? Kazuma Kiryu, professional voice actor. <laughs> Why do you need me? 
We're supposed to record for a game today, but one of our actors has a frog in his throat, and today's our last day in the studio. Have an employee do it and send it. There. Problem solved. Wait, wait! You can't leave! I can, and I am. Harsh. If I don't find a suitable replacement, though, it'll be my head on the chopping block. Oh my god, this stress. Maybe I should just end it all right here and now. Hey, don't be like that. It's just a video game. <gasps> then be my voice actor. Do it for me. Do it or I'll kill myself. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Do you have to be so melodramatic? Huh? Wait. Now I'm really listening to you talk and... That voice. It's smoother than whiskey on the rocks. You were born to be a voice actor, and this is the moment that will shape your destiny! I love how it's just so aware of itself. I'm still not hearing anything that convinces me to help you. Please, your voice is killer! Boy. You're a little too close. Come on, do it! Do it! Do it! Yeah. I don't know the first thing about voice acting, sorry, but I can't do it. Oh, you'll be fine. Just read the lines as they're written on the script. I'll even give you an actor's payment. Can't you grab the next guy who walks by? Why does it have to be me? Because it does. If I don't get your voice in a video game, the world will never know peace. <laughs> it's true. I'm begging you, I insist I'm dying. All right, all right, I'll do it. Hey, okay, fine. If you're that sure I'm the guy for this, I'll help you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your name? Kiryu. Nice to meet you, Kitty san I'm Kikuchi. We're recording in a studio nearby, so just follow me. Oh, God. What's it gonna be? I just... Uh, I'm starting to get this feeling like that the kind of... It's very similar to the modeling thing. Let me introduce you to your partner, Kiryu-san. This here is Ryuzaki-san. Oh god. Looking forward to getting in the booth with you. Uh. Likewise. I should have asked this, but... Kikuchi, what kind of game are we recording for? <laughs> oh! It's a high-octane game of adolescent carnage and drama. It explores the themes of humanity, friendship, betrayal, and the bonds these men form along the way. We call it... Amigo Picante. <laughs> the fuck? Mm. Never heard of it. Oh, well, it's an up-and-coming genre that's really taken off with the female fans recently. <laughs> I know where this is going. Oh, I guess that would explain it. So who am I playing? Our protagonist, of course. His name is Abe and Ryuzaki, or Abe, I guess. It depends on if you're Japanese or not. And Ryuzaki-san here will be playing your childhood friend, Michiue. <laughs> Nani. What? I've never acted a day in my life. How can you expect me to play the protagonist? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll make sure you do it right. Don't worry. Now, you two recently started high school together at an all-boys institution called St. Saint... Dandy's Boys Academy. The curtain rises on the first scene with the two of you alone in the classroom at the end of the school day. We don't have much time, so let's get rolling. Here's the script. Kiryu-san, all we need is for you to read your lines at the right time. Y'all do great! Oh my god. It's been a while since we've had time to ourselves, have it? Just the two of us. Ah, so It's already so juicy. You know, it almost feels like fate that we both ended up at St. Dandy's. I would have been so lonely without you. Hey, Abe. How do you feel about me? everything I could ever want. My ideal lover. 
Wait, what? <laughs> so, it's just the two of us here. What do you want to do with me? I can't help it. Are you sure you wanted to be me? That is certainly going places. I don't think I can hold myself back. Are you really ready? Loosen your shoulders and everything will feel right. Now, relax and let me take it from here. Do I really have to do this next part? <laughs> His face. Since this was an adolescent drama, not some kind of sex game. Kinu-san, please. Young ladies across the nation are going crazy for BL games nowadays. <laughs> BL? It stands for boys love. You know, like, boys. Loving each other. Is this really a genre of video game? <laughs> Don't let it get to you, Kinu-san. Why don't you let yourself get into the part? You really now delete these lines. <laughs> not like me. Because right, I can barely believe you're an amateur. Why don't you stick around? Take out a few more roles with us. Yeah. Sorry, but I think my career as a voice actor ended before it started. <laughs> and how popular did you say these games are? I find it hard to believe they have much of an audience. Huh. Leave it, Kitty son We have girls lining up for hours every time we drop a new release. Mm. I had no idea. I guess video games have come a long way. <laughs> don't trouble yourself over it, Kitty son Oh, and you really saved my life. I thought it was all over until you strolled by. Here, let me thank you. Well, I should get going. Why did I get a suit? I'll give you a ring when the sequel hits. Then. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was great. It was, it was great to hear him on that end of the role that was a little bit more uh seemed like he was actually having sex like i i didn't listen to all of it obviously but for those of you who may not know he actually uh takayu kuroda has actually voice acted in like a uh, one of those audio dramas a boys love audio drama so it's there you can find it people link it all the time on you know the internet and stuff Boy. so Mm. Hey, Ma. Oh. Shogi Parlor and Shogi are into Try Head and South the Shokuku Joe. Yeah, we kind of have the beacon here. But yeah, I listened to some of it, but there wasn't any, s like, sex having on his part, like, as far as I can tell. Like, there was, like, it was supposed to be happening, but, like, he was such the dominant role. That if you're, you're you were getting into it to listen to Kitty, you know, having a good time or being pleasure, that that wasn't it. Um, like I said, not the little bit that I heard, but um, I was reading some of the comments, and some people were I really didn't like his voice. They were they liked the other voice better, but I didn't because it was just too much. There was almost no dialogue, it was just all reactive noises, and it was very, um, uh-oh. Sorry about that. Here, let me help you up. Help me up? I think you mean feel me up. Don't think I didn't notice where those hands went, Buster. Daddy. Excuse me. Oh, please. Even now, you're eyeing me like a hungry lion. What? You misunderstood. Believe me, there's nothing further from my mind than that. Huh. Doubt it. 
I bet just the thought of getting handsy with me got your blood flowing south of the border. Wow. This lady's out of her mind. The fuck? Uh, no thanks. The Obatarian strikes again. Actually, yeah, no sane woman would step out of the door looking like this. Cool. You sizing me up now, fella? A lack of action got you on the verge of a splurge? <laughs> uh, I should probably be going. Sorry for that bump again. Oi. Get back here, you old hag. Mm -hmm. What, you want a slice of this pie too? Well, I ain't into the apron look, Junior. Don't give me that, I saw you shoplifting. Huh? The only thing I steal is hearts, Sonny. You got the wrong lady, I'd say. <laughs> anyway, I was just leaving. Me and this chunk of hunk were heading out on a date. Ain't that right, fella? Hell no! So that's how it is, huh? You gotta keep your granny fetish under wraps, man. Anyway, you gonna pay up? Hold on. All I did was bump into her. Wait! Oh, Sasaki. I got up to the old lady I found and I'm about to collect. About that, uh, I went and checked the tapes again. Turns out she ain't the one. What? So then this old true? She's innocent. Sorry, this is all because of me. Told you so. Think about what you're doing to my street cred. I should sue, or at least get a few coupons off you. And not some slight John hooligan. Yeah, you are. You were trying to scam me. Right, I can see that. Camera, don't lie. She ain't the one. I'm really sorry about that. Sorry, I ain't gonna cut it. If the apology is from the heart, then coupons are where you start. Uh. You got a problem, boss? Ah, Karawaki son. This old hag's trying to shake us down for coupons. Uh -huh. Shake you down? You're the ones who started it. Look, lady. This manager here has treated you real nice over the years. Why don't you run on home? You know what's good for you. Oh, so you think I'll back down after you tarnish my honor like that? Sorry, but I don't take orders from tiny boys out here looking like leprechauns. Uh -huh. Better shut your damn mouth, you purple-haired harpy. What, you want to fight? Do you know who I am, Sonny? They don't call me the Opatarian for nothing. Who cares? I ain't afraid to cut you one way or the other. This is turning ugly. I'll teach you what happens when you fuck with the Yakuza. Oh, don't act scared now, lady. What the hell do you think you're doing? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Yourself, for getting so worked up over an old woman. My hero. Oh, yeah? Either way, I doubt you'd be much of a match for her. What was that? A woman like her? I can't explain why, but there's no way a two-bit thug like you could take her. Uh -huh. Oh, you think, huh? Well, then I'm gonna wreck this windbag after you're dead. Alright. We got some weird shit showing up. Hold on, come here. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Bam! Stop trying to grab you. What is it with guys with knives and sidestepping? Ah. 
if I got dragged into this mess. <laughs> yeah. Guardian angel, blah blah. Here's a little something for your trouble. Granny's candy. No thanks. Ooh. You're a real stud. There's a sad stud biscuit. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. This is reminding me of that time a stunning young man with an eye patch came to my rescue. I'm getting hot flashbacks. Oh my god. Yeah, this. I think I, 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 I'm starting to get vibes that I had seen her before, and that's why. That's nice. But I should be going then. Cool your jets now, big boy. It's been 20 years since anyone set my heart ablaze like this. I ain't letting you get away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him more terrified. Get ready, here comes Granny! Oh god! How do you have this kind of strength? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, what exactly did she do to him? <laughs> I need to go all mumble mouth on me, son. It's been a while since I had my oats. <laughs> I don't know. I can't handle this game sometimes. That was really something, man. Sorry again for the misunderstanding today. No worries, fella. I got all the compensation I was looking for right here. I fought some battles in my time, but I've never felt strength like this. <sighs> Batarian? More like tank battalion? <laughs> Holy shit. He just got raped by old granny. Oh god. We were talking about something. Talking to you, I guess. Ever heard of a place called Kema? Yeah. Mm. I've heard the name, but I couldn't tell you where it is. I see. The reason I know it though is because I knew a guy who was in and out of there back in the day. Then. then you do know it. How about three big bills for the tip? Uh. I got money to spare. <laughs> I do enjoy a smooth negotiation. Well, a deal's a deal. I can get you in as a gambling man who goes by Ginkaku. There's a rundown bar west of Shofukucho called Nino. He used to hang out there. And that's all I know. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm sure you could, like, talk a lot of these guys down. But, like I said, we've got the money to spare. So I ain't worried about it. How are we on... 58 out of 76. I mean, if we're finding them along the way, that's fine. I'll take it. Oh, my God. We can't do that in a corridor. And see, we get our money back. There we go. It's locked. This poster looks pretty old. But look, there's a phone number on it. 
I'll just jot this down. Hmm. It's probably a cell phone. Give it a call, maybe? When you want to make a phone call, select phone number memo from your valuables. Okay. Actually picked up. Hello? Hello? I have reason to believe you can tell me about a place called Kema. There's this popular hostess down at the Red Sirloin. Goes by Yukina-chan, and she's known for being pleasantly plump. Her sizes, please? Mm -hmm. What the hell? What's that have to do with anything? Red Sirloin. Yukina-chan. We need Yukina-chan's sizes. At the Red Sirloin. Oh god. Bust measurement. Well. <sighs> Let's go, uh. This gets more and more cryptic. So now we gotta go get you can a sizes. Oh, I guess I should eat. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. 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 That'll work. <laughs> Still working on getting <laughs> eating everything from every place. I'll get there. I don't know what I was talking about before that whole granny thing went down, so I uh, finish the conversation in your head. What were we talking about? Hmm. Um. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. What's up, buddy? You got Yukina Chan on the mind, too? I just, uh, need her sizes again. <sighs> oh, I bet you do. She's 110, 100, 109, top to bottom. Those delectable curves. 110, 100, 109, top to bottom. <laughs> okay. Boy. <laughs> hmm. Bust measurement. That's right. Make yourselves comfortable down at me no for a spell. Wait, what? me hung up. Back to the bar, I guess. Yeah. Straight down this way. Okay. Oh, God. How about no? How about no? Hello. 
We're gonna run out of room for silver plates. Alright, now we go back here. Nani. Doors unlocked? How strange. That's what smells so damn foul. Doesn't seem like the place has gotten much use lately. Okay. Examine. Mm -hmm. This note refers to shogi pieces from left to right. It says king, gold general, silver general, and pawn. What's the significance though? Alright. Safe looks pretty suspect. Mm. Alright. So we got this. Let's... So we know from left to right, it's the gold general, root king, pawn bishop, silver general. Mm. Uh, it was mm. king, gold general, silver general, pawn. Oh, okay, 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 I got it. King. Okay, so. Five. Eight. Two. Four. Gotta uh. <laughs> get out of the way. Right. What? Shareholders ticket. Okay. Hello? Well done. Wasn't that simple? Now, go order a Christmas present at Comey. He hung up. Alright. I hope we're getting close. So now we gotta order a Christmas present at I was told to order a Christmas present. Hi. Ah, that. Just take a seat, sir. Mm. There's something hard in this. What the hell? Ryuma piece. Okay. Come see us again. Right? Yeah. Well, I found this in the food. Mm -hmm. A shogi piece? What do you think it means? Oi. Oh, hey buddy, what a coincidence. Did you get to meet Ginkaku? Yeah. No, but the latest hoop I jumped through ended up giving me the shogi piece. <sighs> That's all? Huh? Oh, hey, that piece. That's not a Ryuma piece, is it? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Look, why don't you just give me that piece, bud? I don't like it means anything to you, am I right? Boy. I'm still not sure what all this is supposed to mean, quite frankly. Huh? And come on, hand over that piece. Huh? I'm not going to just hand it over while we're in the middle of this wild goose chase. Want to explain why it's so important? Mm. You gappy bitch. If you won't hand it over, it's only going to bring you pain. Well, that's sudden. Man, old man could throw some moves. Interesting. I'll fuck you up. Interesting music. It really is. So 
Yeah, that's a different music. Uh, damn you. So, care to tell us what's so important about this piece? It's your turn to be the yappy bitch. <sighs> that piece. It was crafted by a master considered a treasure among us shogi players. It's basically a golden ticket into even the most underground shogi parlors. Any shogi player worth his salt would kill to have one. So I guess I'm letting you off the hook today. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I won't show no mercy next time. Hello? Impressive work. That piece is quite coveted, so I'd be careful if I were you. Come on. How long do we have to play this stupid game? Oh, don't be that way. This is fun. For me, anyway. No hard feelings, I hope. Boy. I just want to know where Kama is. Show that piece to Santa Claus and his red-nosed reindeer will guide the way. Nanny. What? Santa Claus? This is getting even more ridiculous. That's all the help I'll give you. May your moves bring you closer to victory than ruin. Oh boy. This is a wild goose chase. Oh shit. The fuck? Alright, well, we'll start over here on the on the left. Uh, work our way around, I suppose. Boy. Excuse me, are you Santa Claus by any chance? I think it's wise to spot that kind of nonsense at strangers. Take it you're not. Sorry to bother you. Fucking with me if you want Santa so bad, here's a goddamn present. <laughs> Well, I don't know if the guy we're looking for is gonna look like Santa Claus, but this is interesting. Ah! Motherfuck! Bam! Everybody's a boss. Holy fucking shit. I'm wondering if I should go look at all of these guys first. I wasn't expecting... Like, if I had to fight one... But they've got, like, four guys here. And they got a lot of HP. I mean, I know I'm not trying my damn this here with blocking and dodging and shit. But... Like, seriously, the fuck? Not him. No choice but to keep trying. She, not him? Really? Oh god, leave me alone. Are they all gonna look like this? There's something? Uh huh. There's a street boss. Okay. Let's just, let's see what we can find here. Okay, there's that guy. I don't think there's a way for us to tell for sure. I'm betting against that fucker though.
see if we can't get this to... Cocksucker. I don't want to have to hunt all these guys down. They're just so kicking their ass. circle around. Let's see if that does it. There we go. It's not failed. It was a choice, motherfucker. <clears throat> Alright, well let's try this guy, I guess. Who the fuck are you? Oh god. Yeah. I'm- I'm okay that I didn't have you for the club, I guess? Although she probably... I was a secret weapon of Sotenbor's own Sunshine Cabaret. I made banks, honey. Oh my god. I don't know about beauty, but the lady sure can talk. The fellow who ran the joint was my biggest fan, too. He only had one good eye, but when I was around, he couldn't take it off me. That sly perv. One good eye? Nah, it couldn't be. Oh yeah, it is. Oh god. Well, we're gonna... Oh. That piece. Who referred you? Ginkaku? Don't know how you got it, but... Ain't my circus, ain't my monkey. Follow me. Good, I got it. Second try. We're running things from here today. Well, at least we didn't have to go through too much more of that. That could have gotten lengthy. Half the time, some of the ways they they end up making me have to get to the next bit of story. I forget what we were working on. <laughs> Meet I. ここは阿部君が来るとこやないわ。杉浦平之助の作品やないか。よう手に入れたのう。ほんで誰と刺したんや。村井だ。村井、sorry。村井という男よ。あなたが村井さんね。これは昭和五十九年名人戦最終局の百四十二手目の場面や。ここで挑戦者のヤブタは五八馬と指して勝負に出た。だがこれが敗因でヤブタは負けた。四三に銀を打って王を固めるのが定
何も知らんでも生きていけるのならその方がいい教えてください矢蓋は名人戦に負けた後公式戦から遠ざかって酒を浴びるほど飲んで体を壊して死んでしまった絶対に名人になるんやと思っとったが多分己の実力じゃ無理やいうことを悟ったんやそれが自分の運命やとなせやから最後に自分らしい手を指して死を選んだんや人の人生っちゅうのは残酷やあんたは今まで過去を知らんでも生きてこれたんや。余計なことを知って、いらぬ運命を背負うことはない。どんな過去でも受け止める覚悟はできています。だからあなたに会いに来たんです。お願いします。教えてください。話を聞くまで帰りません。お願いします。あれはクリスマスの夜やった。クリスマス。お祭り気分のわしらの隙をつくように、同時間組が襲ってきて。アジトにいた構成員も次々と葬られた。けど。あなたを含めた三人が運よく生き残った。あ,あ,あなたは河原さんと別所さんの助けで関西に逃れたのねせやけど本国から送られてきた構成員に居場所を突き止められてしもただがわしはこうして生き延びることができたどうしてのこった他の二人を撃ったのじゃあキム・デジンとジヨンミンやないキム・デジンとジヨンミン当時二人は十六歳やったがなぜか難を逃れたその後の行方はわからんそれじゃああなたが撃った仲間っていうのは誰なの実はあと二人おったんや生き残りがそれはボスの女房とその子供や子供救助が外れて
わしは生き残ってしもた<音楽>それからもらいという名前をもらってこうして生き延びとるんやじゃあ狭山の父親は人言派のボスその後ボスの奥さんと子供はどこへ河原さんがこっちへ逃がしたんやじゃああなたは自分が助かりたいためにその親子を本国の組織に売ったのねその後その二人がどうなったかは知らんがな母親は死んで子供だけが助かったのよほんまあんたがあの時の子供なんかその子の父親を殺したのは誰なの名前は知らんが顔はよう覚えとるひげを生やした男やったそれは風間のおやさんだ俺を育ててくれたあの風間慎太郎だ本当にああ俺もその場にいた What? Oh, you're interrupting my story time, bitches. Mudaya. <laughs> そいつらは本国の戦友部隊だ。絶対に口を割るようなことはせん。さあ、ゴーダ会長の居場所を教えてくれ。<笑>その前に、あの世に送ってやる。Eh, we'll see about that. Let's see how hard this ends up being. We might actually have to use our block button. I don't know. <laughs> We're a little low on health to start with, too. Alright. Down to business! Oh, damn.
幸せな生活を送りたいなどと思ったんが間違いやったんや運命に逆らったらあかんのやあの時死んでしまえばよかったんやあの世でおふくろさんに娘さんは立派になったと報告しとくわ幸せになるんやで Now we're back to being a snobby brat, probably. I get it. I do. Holy shit! Majima Chapter 3. Mmm! Yeah, we know what we're doing next time. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Okay, so we had a very lengthy chapter here. We had a lot of running around. And, um. Uh. Yeah. There is a lot that happened there. I get it. She's she's gonna be upset, but now she's gonna she just My problem with her is that that they'll give her these moments where she does she gets to being a human being Like I said, and then it just reverts so so hard the other direction Now I don't know. It's like she slapped him away there and she just ran off So yeah, she's a bit upset at finding out what she expected to find out though And she said she could handle it and now she's not and um, I get it. He Kitty was honest about that it was Kazuma-san. He was sure of it. Now, Kiryu started to say he was there. Um, I'm... Because I'm trying to think, okay, because also part of what confused me was that uh, Besho and, and um, oh, fuck, what's his name? Uh, the other guy, Sagwa, um, they were saying that because when she went to talk to Besho about it, he was saying that they let the Dojima family do it. They were in on that. They were in on the Dojima family going in to take these guys out because they had no choice. So why did they follow them in? I guess were they trying to be a part of it? But then, like, he was trying to hide from Kazuma. So what was what was the deal there? That's, that's, uh, that's a little bit of something that's confusing me. Because, like I said, they, they said that this was something that the police planned out for the Dojima family to handle. Because they had no other choice, according to them. But Besho and Sagawa are there. Um, but not in cooperation with the Dojima family, apparently. Um, Kazuma had already started to show a softer side. Okay, this is supposed to be 20 years ago. Kiryu is... 38 he would have just gotten in he would have been like maybe a year in to his yakuza oath right so i guess i mean that lines up with him being in the yakuza and being sworn in but i don't know that they would have sent a, a grunt man there so i'm not entirely sure why he said he was there so we're, we have some more story to figure out there uh, if i'm remembering this right because she said it was 20 years ago and i was trying to remember exactly when they said for sure uh something like that but yeah when she was talking to him on the bridge because I was I, I can't remember for sure when they said that happened if anything but I'm just going with what she said on the bridge she said something like it was 20 years ago and that it would line up with with everything that she knew about her past um, that she would be Jing Wan so that I mean like I said that would put him as like just having sworn in if that's correct but I 
Well, I will probably get the rest of that story. But yeah, I was just trying to remember for sure when it happened. Because what year are we in? We're in like 2000. This is a year after the events of Kiwami, which took place in 2005 after he got out of prison. So it's 2006. But yeah, because I was trying to remember what, what if they showed a year at the very beginning, I, I could go and look, but yeah. Well, uh, I'm sure it all lines up. I was just trying to figure it out and, and remember, but I'm struggling. Like all I have to go on is what she said. Anyway, yeah, so that'll be it. And whoo, 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 boy, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait an episode because we get the Majima, but we, it's worth it because he just ran into Makoto at, at the, the massage parlor after getting guilted into getting a massage after getting information there. So, ah, all right. I'll see you guys next time for Majima Saga Chapter 3. Bye for now.